If a society is best judged by the quality of its mercy, well, Britain's socialized medical system appears to be failing that test. 23-month-old Alfie Evans is dying tonight from a neurological condition doctors have been unable to diagnose. He was taken off life support by court order on Monday. Yesterday, an appeals court refused to let Alfie's parents take him to Italy, which is offering an alternative treatment and citizenship. Here to discuss why little Alfie's life matters and what it tells us about socialized medicine is Brexit leader Nigel Farage in London. And this is a live show, and it's the middle of the night. Nigel, thank you so much for being here. I, I've been praying for Alfie and his family, but I have a question for you tonight. How can courts in the EU and in the UK prevent a family from r removing their child from a, a, from a hospital and taking him or her to another country for treatment. How, how, how is that even happening? Well, what's happening here is the rights of the parent to do what they think are right are being taken away from them. We have a case here, and by the way, it's not the first. We had a big one last year concerning a small boy called Charlie Gard who wanted to go to America for treatment, treatment that was not available in the UK. And in this case, for young Alfie, there's treatment available in Italy that is not available here. Now, the little boy is very sick, but, I mean, any parent, any parent in the world who's got a child that's sick would move heaven and earth if somebody else could offer them a different treatment. And yet, what happens here is our state-run medical system decides there is nothing else that can be done, and backed up by state courts... They make a decision that those parents are not fit to move their child somewhere else. And when you think about this case, I mean, the Pope's intervened. The Italian president even granted the boy Italian citizenship. And still, the medical profession and the courts say, no, we're sorry, we're putting the plug. The life support machine has been turned off. So this gets to the absolute heart of how much freedom does the individual have how much decision-making process do the parents have? Yeah. Or are our children now owned by the state? I mean, Nigel, what, what, it, I, it's almost like they broke Alfie's father today. Because at the beginning of the day, he was saying, come here and see how my son is a hostage of this hospital, which is what we on this show and so many others have, have c called him. He's, he's like a hostage of the, of the National Health Service. And he said, what, well, are we, what we are enduring is not right. But by the end of the day, he had changed his tune and basically said, everybody go back to your lives. And, and, and I think the hospital kind of sounds like he was threatened. And he said, well, you're not going to get anything you know, from us unless you tone it down. There was a picture yesterday of this hospital, Alder Hay Hospital in the northwest of England, with 20 uniformed police officers standing outside the door of the hospital to stop little Alfie being taken out and to stop protesters from getting in, using the police to keep the child in the hospital. Now, uh, these parents have been through every single legal process available to them, and I'm guessing now that the life support machine has been turned off, now that there is no prospect at all of the young boy going to Italy, uh, in the end, the father has accepted the inevitable. Uh, whether he was threatened or not, I don't know. But what I do know... Um, is that when I was involved in this Charlie Gard case last year, I turned up outside the hospital, in this case, Great Ormond Street Hospital in London, and I was told in no uncertain terms by the PR services for the hospital uh, that what I was doing was damaging the reputation of the hospital by doing press reports well, but, outside yeah. where this little boy was dying. And it is just... It's classic <laughs> of the establishment closing ranks, the state being all-powerful, and frankly... What is happening today, what is happening right now, is a form of state-sponsored euthanasia, and I hate it. No, well, he's, he's now an undesirable, and we can't help him. It, it, undesirable because he can't, be, he can't be fixed. I think part of it, we're almost out of time, I think part of it, Nigel, is, is, is the, is the uh, National Health Service, they don't want to risk the fact that he goes over to Italy, maybe he gets treatment, and he has some quality of life, and that's a big embarrassment to the, the National Health Service. Thank you for being up late for us Thank tonight, you. Nigel.